I show you how to create a false ceiling potentially adding leads all around. So first you'll need to measure the dimensions of your piece. Here we are on a part of. If I'm not being silly, we are on a 2M21 room, so we'll round up to 2M20 out of 290. Three meters. The first thing to do is to go and find a free form. In the construction category, you will take the form of cube right here. You can now use exactly the same dimensions than your free form piece. So 2M21, we'll even say to ourselves by three meters, Check that the cube fits perfectly per piece. And we're good. Once that's done, you'll determine to how thick you would like your false ceiling. False ceilings are generally just under 10 centimeters high thickness. So we'll set the height of our cube to 10 centimeters. Once you've changed all these parameters, you can easily switch to in 3D. You can see that the cube is right here and you can move it up slightly. To visualize it, you can switch back to 2D and the idea will be to reduce the width and the depth of your cube. By reducing the width and depth of your cube, it will, will give you an outline of your empty cube. So here, if we have the cube at 2M20, we are going to reduce by 20 centimeters on each side, for example, and we'll reduce it to 180 centimeters. Automatically, you have 20 centimeters on each side, which have been reduced. We'll do exactly the same for the length. So we're going to reduce it to 260 centimeters. You switch back to 2D and all you have to do is adjust your cube to ceiling level and your skin ceiling is ready. It's up to you if you want to add spotlights. Bearing in mind that spotlights must be positioned just below the false ceiling or if you prefer to add LEDs all the way around. To add LEDs, simply go to in the lighting category. You get LEDs and put them in the same dimensions you've applied to your cube. Place the LEDs as close as possible to your cube. Switch to 3D to adjust height of each LED. It's a slightly meticulous job because we're going to have to zoom in as far as possible and retrieve your LEDs for perfect performance. Position it. It's already positioned right here, so it's perfect. If it's correctly positioned, you can switch back to 2D. Duplicate it. So we duplicate the LED ribbon to position it on the other side. And you do exactly the same for the perpendicular sides resizing to 180 centimeters. And then it's all good. If you want to add spotlights, you position the spots, you lower them and using the, as you go, you'll readjust the height. Once this is done, you'll be able to change the number of spots you want, but also the distance you wish to have between each spotlight. Duplicate, reactivate measurement tool, adjust, we adjust and we're good. Here we can see our spotlights, which light up clearly right next door no worries, and to give you a realistic picture. And here it is.